I'm Mark McAllister at King and Bathurst right now. And over the last few days, we've been jumping around to different spots in the city where the province has said new subway stops could be built. Now, studies have shown that where there is new transit, new development takes place. So tonight, we're asking the question about property values and prices in areas like this. Call this the tale of two pockets in the city, both impacted by the province's new transit plan. Plot the dots on the map for the Ontario line, and on one end you'll see proposed stations for the Flemington and Thorncliffe Park neighborhoods. The area of high-density rental housing would see new transit beyond buses, but residents could see the increase in rent as a result, making things a lot more difficult to afford. If rents go up in this area, what do you think happens to the neighborhood? Rents going up... Uh... Well, they will manage somewhere. They will have to go somewhere else. It doesn't matter. Would you be worried about your rent going up? Um, that's another <laughs> another thing, right? But I think it would affect you know we need more income for that. When you get into those areas, you see the apartment parks. There's going to be a few more of those. So there's also some low density areas in and around where those stops are going into in Flemington. There's a lot of area left to develop, and that's actually where I think we'll see the land prices jump. On the other end, the never before mentioned subway stops at Queen and Spadina, as well as King and Bathurst. Higher density areas with plenty of commercial and residential space. Could already expensive condos and business properties? be going through the roof. If we provide transit stations, we should go for places that are the densest and have the highest potential to contribute to transit ridership. These are the corridors where new development has taken place. Because people that are living at Queen and Spadina or King and Bathurst can already walk downtown to work uh, on a nice day. They can also take the streetcar or the bus system. In other words, it's already pricey enough and it likely wouldn't have much of an impact aside from more convenience. That said, an important point to be made, as we speak right now, the King streetcar pilot is about to be approved, and it's been said that the passenger count increase has gone up 17% since the pilot started. There's no saying what's going to happen if a new, street, a new subway stop ends up being put here. No studies on that have ever been made.